There are things you can do to burn even more fat with the same work time. <music> Hey and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Somi, physiotherapist, coach and nutrition expert from Fitboss NG. So good to have you here. In this channel, we learn all about health, fitness, weight loss, we play games, we cook healthy recipes. It's super fun here. So please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. Thank you. So in today's video, we'll be talking about how you can lose some major body fat by walking. Yes, you heard me right, walking. Okay, so first things, before you even start working, make sure to get comfortable cushion sneakers. Also, always make sure you are hydrated. You take some water 15 to 20 minutes before you set out on your walk. Then to make your walk fun and interesting, you should get your um, headsets or earphones, listen to music, listen to audiobooks or podcasts. You can listen to your pastor. You can do whatever you like, any time will fly by. So my experience as a coach and in my own personal experience too, I've seen that walking is one of the most effective exercises you could do to burn body fat, even belly fat, lean down and get shredded. It's not high impact, therefore it's safer for your joints. It doesn't hinder recovery. It's easy to do. Most times people don't work out because the thought of all that jumping around stresses them out and they don't do it. But walking is a no brainer. You're just up get on your shoes and you're good to go. And very importantly, it doesn't leave you hungry and ravenous like many other cardio exercises do. So when you're walking, your body taps more into its fat reserves, even more than running. Although running burns more calories, more overall calories, but most of those calories are from carbohydrates. That's when you're running, you know, and that's part of the reason why you get so hungry. But with walking, you do not get hungry. It's tapping into it fat reserves. Walking is so good for mental health. It's a way to relieve stress. It's a way to relieve anxiety and give you mental clarity. I cannot even begin to tell you how many good ideas I get while walking. Walking is good for your mental state for sure. Walking is also cool because you don't have to put on your workout outfit to do it, right? You just get up, put on your comfy shoes and get walking. It can be done anywhere. You could do it while brushing your teeth. You can walk on your treadmill while you walk on your system. You could walk while you watch TV. This is me walking back and forth while I watch my favorite TV show. So you could do that. You can pace back and forth or around the house while you're on the phone. So there are so many ways to get those steps in once you become conscious of it and walk towards it. So you started walking and you're going and walking and within one to two weeks, you notice some physical changes in your body. You get more fit. There are things you can do to burn even more fat with the same walk time. So one of the things you could do is to alternate your walking pace. You can start with a regular walk, you know, just to warm things up. Then you go into a brisk walk. A brisk walk is you're walking fast enough but you're still able to hold a conversation, right? So you're walking briskly. Then you could take it up to maybe do that for like two minutes, then take it up to a power walk. A power walk, you are like almost running, but not running. You're still walking, but walking really fast. So you could do that for like a minute, then go back to the brisk walk. You can do that again for two minutes, or you could even go more with your power walk, just as for as long as you can hold that power walk. You just do it and come back, dial it down a little bit. It's more like the heat of walking, right? So just freestyle it. It's not like you're checking your time. Oh, it's two minutes. Power walk. Oh, it's one minute. <laughs> Brisk walk. No, just freestyle it. Push the power walk for as long as you can go. Then dial it back to a brisk walk. Then keep doing it like that. Doing this keeps your heart rate up makes you burn more into those fat reserves and lose more total body fat. So another thing you could do to increase the fat burning while walking is incorporate some form of weights into your walking routine. You could do this by holding on to a pair of dumbbells. You can start from maybe a kg. A kg is about two pounds. Um, maybe hold on to a kg of dumbbells and of course you increase it as your fitness level goes up. But you could hold on to some dumbbells and Still do your interval walking if you want, or you could do get a weighted backpack. They sell those. I think you can get it on Amazon. You can get it some places here in Nigeria, or you could totally do your own weighted backpack. You can put some sand in a bag and put it into a backpack and put that right on your back and 
go. Doing this immediately increases the amount of calories burned because your, your weight is increased, the effort is increased and you're burning more calories and definitely general body fat. Another thing you could do is walk on an inclined plane. You can get the settings, you can tweak the settings on your treadmill to get this. So you walk on an inclined plane or you can walk up and down the stairs or you can walk uphill outside. When you're walking outside, you can walk uphill. Just maybe get roots that are more of uphill roots. So these things make such a difference to the total calories and fat burned. But remember the inclined plane and the weight thing, it doesn't have to be done for the entire time of your walking for a day. It could just be a fraction, like maybe 30 minutes of your total walk time, you can decide to do the inclined plane or you could decide to hold on to some weights or you could if your fitness level is there you could do both like why not so how much walking should you be doing so if you're at zero level of fitness you should start small just like any other exercise right that you hear 10,000 steps doesn't mean you just jump into t doing 10,000 steps so you can start at 1,000 a few days later maybe go to 2,000 to 3,000 and keep building to 10,000 and even more so you can get a pedometer or one of those fitness apps that track your steps or if you don't want to do steps you could decide if you're at um, zero level of fitness you could decide to at least do 10 minutes of walking and then maybe build it up to 20 minutes and 30 minutes and keep going like that or if you want to track it by distance you can decide that you would get to the end of a certain street the first day the second day or the third day you could you know get to the end of the next two streets and keep building like that you can also track your walking by your miles coverage you can decide you'll start with one mile which should take the average person 15 to 20 minutes of a regular paced walk and then you can decide to up it to two miles three miles four miles and keep going from there but remember don't do too much too soon start from what you can handle though you should always challenge yourself a little but start from what you can handle then keep building from there you don't want to fatigue yourself you don't want to hurt yourself always make sure you also wear comfortable footwear cushion footwear so you don't hurt yourself so you don't have to do all your walking for a day all at once especially if you're really busy or if your fitness level is not really that high yet you can do 30 minutes here 10 minutes there and 10 minutes somewhere else something i've started doing recently is take a 10 minute walk after every meal so you can imagine if you're doing that after every meal let's say you eat two times or three times a day that's easily 20 to 30 minutes of work time extra just like that so you do that it not only helps you add to your steps your total steps for the day but it also makes your digestion easy and that's definitely better for weight loss so these are the little things you can do it's habits like this that really make a difference in the long run case in point we all know italians are really fat right they are hardly ever fat and yet they eat well they don't joke with their meal time but then they walk a lot they walk to have their meal they walk after their meal <laughs> they walk to the groceries they walk to they, they basically walk and bike walk and bike and walk again that is what Italians do so guys I encourage you to adopt walking as a lifestyle since I started walking I haven't looked back it helps me stay lean and trim no matter what so have you been walking how many steps are you able to hit in a day please let me know in the comment section below I like to know what you guys are doing and if you haven't been walking I do hope you intend to start now that you've seen this video so thank you for watching this video till the end do give it a thumbs up and subscribe please I'll see you in my next video goodbye